So, good afternoon YouTube. Welcome to the latest edition of Beard VTAC TV. Uh, been through a few changes over this bank holiday weekend. Can't already tell by the spoiler in the background. And the change of seats that have um, got rid of the EG. EG has gone to a, a hill climb team in Worcester and I've had um, their old DC2 off them. The 96 spec import, JDM as fuck, yo. Um, some nice bits on it, an engine rebuild, uh, reboards, forged rods, pistons, etc. etc. It's been really well looked after. Obviously, I was a bit, a bit concerned about rust and a few other things. I know these are quite bad for it. But unfortunately, within an hour of having it home, I had side skirts off and underneath it, and uh, everything looks good. So, so far, so good. Obviously, I haven't got right into its, into its underbelly, under the tank and everything, but I've had all the carpet up on the inside, and yeah, everything looks good. So, the differences between the K20 and the B18. The K20 off the mark, and to be fair, top end as well. The EG was a lot faster than this car, but at the same time, the EG is just an EG. This is an iconic car to me. I've wanted one of these for a long time. And there's nothing to say that if anything does go wrong with the B18, that I won't just put a K in. I wouldn't just put a K in it for the sake of it, just purely because it's, it's the original engine for the car. It's the first B18 to see I've had. And fucking rips to be fair. Makes great noise. So we're gonna do your demonstration. Gearbox, the 5.1 final drive, and the diff. This has got a diff, but it is a stock 96 spec box. Has been rebuilt, so the box is nice. Lightweight flywheel, stage 2 ceramic clutch.
Yeah, so in comparison, I, I'd say that the DC2 definitely handles better. Obviously, I haven't got a track day or anything like yet, but this is just from having a few spirited drives over the last two days. The genuine feel that I'm getting is that the DC2 is a lot flatter through the bends. Basically, you can carry a lot more speed. The EG couldn't carry that much speed, but as soon as you got back on the pedal, you were picking it up again. So, it's a fast car, and it is definitely the guys use it in hill climb. It's going to be very competitive in it. Listen. <laughs> of me and it was a big expression of me and it was the first case swap that I've done. That being said, you can't linger, life's too short to just have one car. Well no, I say have one car. Life's too short to have one toy and if you can't afford to have two toys, just swap and change. No doubt I could sell this all the bits we do another case swap and I enjoy doing it I think I enjoy building it more than I enjoy driving it but this is a this is a poster car for me JDM spec DC2 rectangular headlights in wide for me it doesn't get any better than that so I'm gonna stop stop talking bollocks now there's a little blip video and uh, don't forget to subscribe. Well, that's about it. Crashing.